Hey guys, my name is DemVP. I am a professional photographer, a tech enthusiast, and a fan of things of value, valued, value friendly things. All right, and today we're going to go ahead and do a review on the Amazon Basics Medium DSLR Gadget Bag with orange interior. I've owned this bag for a little while. I am um, a professional photographer, so I have much bigger bags and I use that uh, primarily, but I wanted something that was um, it's kind of small, lightweight, um, with a, a pretty nice form factor, um, but still was able to carry uh, uh, some large equipment, or a large lens, or my large camera, and stuff like that, but just, just smaller amounts of, of equipment, basically. And um, this one was really great, because uh, I'll tell you, I've had a lot of um, problems with camera bags, where basically I... I, I, either you have a choice, I'm sure many of you who are currently in, looking to get a DSLR bag, um, you either see something that's too small or too big for what you need. And this thing um, really is stays true to the medium in its name because you, you hold it, you feel it, and you use it, and you get a sense that it is a medium bag, which for some reason is kind of rare from what I've seen in the uh, camera bag uh, industry, I guess. so. Getting into it, um, it has a nice um, hard interior. It's 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 made not necessarily hard, as in it's not like plastic or anything like that. But you can tell that the way it's made, it's 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 going to keep its rectangular shape unless it's like packed with equipment, in which case it may bulge a bit. Um, it has a flat bottom, which is good for helping it stand, stuff like that. It's not a hard bottom, it's a soft bottom. So if, like I said, if it does get packed, you know, with a lot of equipment, it likely will have trouble staying up. Um, but if you have it with just a little bit of equipment or just a few things, um, it should have no problem staying up like this. Um, so it has just a simple little buckle right here, just a flap, nothing sealed or anything like that open it up and it has a front zipper pouch pretty large it's pretty simple um, coming in here and then just two little net mesh um, with some elastic bands right there to keep everything in for cables or cards and things something very simple which I appreciate um, going in I noticed that this zipper was it yes this zipper tends to have some issues the zipper quality isn't that great in my opinion um, it's I don't, I have any problems where, it, you know, I haven't had any problems where it seems like it's going to be too much where I can't open it. Um, it only kind of happens occasionally, but I'll be honest, it is kind of annoying when it does happen. Uh, moving to the top flap, we have your, uh, just some simple card things. Here's something that actually happened during my first take review, um, which I formerly, unfortunately lost. Um, I was actually using this and I was trying to show people the thing and the, what's supposed to happen is right here, just a nice little Velcro flap, that's it. And this actually ripped, which I was surprised because it was literally um, the day after I got it. And it, it, the Velcro just ripped off and that's not going to work anymore eventually. Eventually the whole thing's going to come off. Um, so it really lost a point there. I don't know if that's just mine um, or if that's something to be worried out for the, you know, all of them. Uh, but... That's just something to keep in mind. I personally don't think it's going to be a big problem for the, what I have in use for it. Also, these flaps have little pouches right here for, you know, you can have CF cards in here or batteries in here and then an SD in here, which I think is, was really cool. Um, also above that, you have just a simple pouch right there. Um, zip. The zipper actually has no problems um, in, in my uh, experience. Um, all right, and going into the bag, you have just a few pouches with, I believe, two two or three dividers. You have two dividers. Um, orange interior. It has these flaps here to help it keep uh, it protected from dust, debris, and moisture or, or rain and that kind of stuff. Um, so it's not exactly, it's not sealed. So I wouldn't really feel too comfortable keeping this out in the rain, but it does have a little bit of protection. Um, so for your basic use and stuff like that. And currently I have two speed lights, um, a diffuser and some other random equipment in there just to fill it up. I haven't really put my camera in there. Um, I do have a larger camera, um, I'd say medium camera. But if you're trying to do a smaller DSLR or even a, a large DSLR, for like a 5D Mark III or something like that, um, it should have no problem fitting in here along with a larger lens like a 24 to 70 or something like that. Um, you may have some trouble trying to fit everything in here if you have a 70 to 200. 
Um, you can definitely fit it in here. I doubt you'd be able to fit it in here with it mounted through the camera. You probably have to pile it on top of each other, that kind of thing. Um, but if, if this is something that where you're just trying to go out with like one camera or with and one and two, one maybe two lenses, um, this is a great size for that. Um, in my opinion, I personally thought this would be a great bag just to have store some equipment like this. Um, if I, in case I had an assistant or something like that that I wanted to, to be on my pack mule and carry things that I don't want to carry, so they can carry it because that's what I'm paying them for. Um, the Velcro inside the interior, the or the um, uh, the what are these called? What are these called? Divides, dividers. Um, I've noticed that they're kind of. They're a little on the weaker side, so with heavy equipment walk, rocking around, if it's not tightly fit in there, it probably might knock a bit loose. Uh, but it's a small bag, so I want to imagine some very heavy equipment would be in here. Um, so it's it's good for what it's used for. Um, the moving on to uh, the outside again. Clip this back. Um, feeling it, it feels good. Good interior, uh, good good nice well built. Um, going to the back, there is nothing on the back. Uh, the handle is very thick and firm, um, and but it's not so much where you feel like it would get in the way. It doesn't unfortunately push down like some of the other handles that other bags have, um, but it's it feels good in the hand. Moving on to the strap, which in my opinion is the worst part of the bag, um, or the only real bad part of the bag to be honest, it is a very basic strap. It has some uh, hardened uh, plastic hoops right here. Um, that can clip on and clip off with ease. Um, not something that I'd be concerned about. It seems pretty strong. It has a nice little rotation right here to help avoid tangle, which in my opinion does nothing to do, has, does nothing to help avoid tangle. I don't think it's really, I, I think it's just a little bit for convenience for untangling, but it doesn't prevent, un, it doesn't prevent the tangling. And it, it gets a little confusing sometimes trying to figure out if it's, good so right there um, this is definitely the worst part I think this the, the shoulder strap is uh, super poorly made it's super it's just it's uncomfortable and it makes it very difficult for it to slide through when using it so when you have it over and you're trying to swing it from the back from the side to the front it doesn't move under here I'm, I'm telling you it doesn't it, you you'd have to do it yourself like this it won't move freely like most camera straps or camera um, bag shoulder straps do. Um, so for me, I honestly would probably prefer removing the shoulder pad entirely because it's just it's just terribly made and it's it does not work for what it's supposed to do. I guess for mild comfort, but if you're trying to swing it around and stuff like that, th this won't work. It's not it's not it's going to work against you if you're trying to swing it from the back to the front constantly like that. Um, but if that's not something you plan on doing, then that's not going to be a problem for you. That's something I personally do a lot, so this frustrated the heck out of me. But out of overall, it's great look. It's compact. It it it's not. It fits as much as you would think. Maybe if, maybe even more just by looking at the size of it. Um, and it doesn't get in the way. I personally think it would it would work if it, would, if it had a, a better strap that'd be great but you can always replace the straps which is pretty cool um, so if you really want to invest maybe another 10 15 dollars in another strap or something like that um, that's definitely something um, that's that you can you can do you can, if you're considering that um, which i might i might do um, so yeah that's the basics of this amazon basics medium dslr camera bag um, if you're looking for something with a real medium feel, this is definitely the bag for you. And for its, and for its price, it has amazing value to it. And um, other than the strap and the, the um, Velcro that tore off, I think it's a very good bag. I, mean, I think it's really nice. So um, that's about it. If you had any personal questions or something that you felt that I missed, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Um, like my video if you thought it was helpful. I really appreciate it. I'm starting to do a lot more reviews on... Um, uh, products with good value so if you're looking for um, technology or um, camera gear or anything like that but you want to get the most bang for your buck um, I recommend subscribing because I'm going to be doing a lot of views on products that fit that criteria um, but of course I appreciate any support again so again like the video comment if you have any questions and subscribe I really appreciate it and thank you again for watching my name is Devin VP bye